Well, I'm back again, and I want to show some uh, some projectiles coming out of Mario. So let's let's shoot some bullets. So let's go back into our our main uh, player class over here, and let's go inside of the update. Let's create a an extra uh, if variable so or if uh, statement if input dot I don't know. Let's say if we press um, v or something so if input but dot v and this dot shoot now we haven't made a shoot function so let's create a shoot function let's make it above the this dot jump this dot shoot is equal to function um, and up here we're going to say um, uh, let's just say so we press the key and we want to shoot a projectile. In order to do that, we need to have bullets. So let's go ahead and make an array. So this dot bullets is equal to new array. And let's keep it consistent with, we're putting it above the, above the jump function, so let's put this above the jump variables. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say <coughs> this dot bullets dot uh, push we're going to push a new rectangle and in that rectangle it's going to it's x and y are going to be this dot um, let's say rect dot x plus uh, this dot rect dot width divided by two so it'll be it'll actually spawn from the middle of the player out and let's do the same for the, on the y. So this dot rect dot y uh, plus this dot uh, rect dot height divided by two. Um, so that's the center of the player. And now we want to set its width and height. Let's just do a ten by ten, maybe an eight by eight because our player uh, our player size. So to make it completely center, we also have to subtract the width of the bullet. So let's just make it a static number for now. You'll probably want to put this into a variable later uh, if you're planning on doing something serious with it. So uh, here's we're subtracting by the height and width of the actual bullet itself. So we've created the bullet. Great. So what's the first thing that you think? We need to draw the bullet. And we need to draw the bullet before we draw the player so it's behind the player. So we'll just do a four and a uh, var i is equal to zero i is less than this dot bullets i plus plus. And we're gonna just say this dot bullets dot draw. We're gonna pass in the ctx. Now also remember, uh, let's actually break this out and let's say uh, var b is equal to that. And then let's say b dot color is equal to, uh, let's just make it color dot g equal to zero and it's color dot b equal to zero. So it's a red bullet. So we're gonna shoot red bullets. Uh, we draw each bullet here. Now, uh, if, we, if we went ahead and played this right now, you'll notice an anomaly. So let's see that anomaly. If I press V, nothing happens, right? our anomaly. So there, there's uh, a few reasons why that is. Um, first of all, we forgot to put our length here. That was unintentional, by the way. I made it sound like it was intentional, didn't I? Yeah, so that was our first problem. Our second one is that we forgot our eye. And... Our next one is that we forgot to add our push our B our bullets into there. So us programmers, we always forget a lot of stuff. We gotta iterate back through things and uh, see what on earth we have been doing wrong. Oh. Let's not do that. Sorry, I was really confused there for a second. Uh, it turns out that I need to log into my FTP again sitting here reloading the same page over and over. So, there we go, our anomaly, or at least one of them. We're drawing blue, or red rectangles, and we're repeatedly just drawing lines. 
So the first issue we can tell is that we're drawing way too many bullets all at once. So we don't want to be able to hold down the button and shoot. Um, we can add that actually. In fact, I would like to do that more because it adds more character to this thing we're doing here. So this dot bullet time is equal to Actually, that might be best once I create a game time. We're gonna we're gonna add something to the framework in a later video for adding game time, so that we can get uh, time intervals and uh, which will make things a lot cooler. So uh, let's just do it my original way. So let's do this dot shot bullet is equal to false, and the game time is going to be really cool because uh, you can do a lot more checks and mostly timing stuff with it which uh, <coughs> which uh, is uh, very important. So uh, let's do the if check in here. So if, very important for games, I should say. <coughs> That's me bouncing around topics. So let's go ahead and say if, if we press V, then this dot shoot else, we're going to set this back to false. Now let's go down here and let's set it to true instead of this. It is equal to true. So if we have not shot a bullet, let's put an uh, ex explanation there, a bang sound, or bang. And uh, let's, so if we have not shot a bullet, shoot, and then we set it to true. And then when we let up, it resets it back to false. Great. So let's see if uh, we fix that first anomaly. Uh, press and hold. It looks like we only get one. Oh, it fell right off the cliff. Fantastic great demo. So I can press lots of time and generate bullets. So what's the issue? The issue is that our bullets aren't moving. We want it to take in a, a velocity and we want to cast it out. Um, and to do that properly we're going to have to make a bullet class. So let's go up here and let's create a bullet is equal to function. And let's go ahead and say this dot uh, velocity velocity is equal to new vector 2 let's just set it to 0 and this dot rect is equal to new rectangle and inside of the bullet we're going to pass in a vel and a rect in fact we're going to make those necessary so we're going to pass in vel here and we're just going to call this rectangle so that we have a different variable name so rectangle so we're going to create the velocity and rectangle here. Now we need a this.update is equal to function. So we need, and then we need this.draw is equal to function. CTX is what we're going to pass. Uh, all right, so uh, inside of here, we're just going to copy out our draw function we have here. And let's paste it up here. Let's take out the I. Let's take out all of that. Um, and just say rect.draw. Or this.rect. This.rect.draw. And then we're going to go down here. And we're going to, uh, in its place, we're going to put um, this.bullets.i.draw. CTX. I don't know if that was what it was already. It was. Huh. But that's because we're drawing a rectangle. Now we use the draw function of the bullets. So um, now instead of saying new rectangle here, uh, let's say, let's add something else. This dot. All right, we'll say var bull for bullet is equal to new bullet, and we need to pass in a velocity first, and then a rectangle. So the velocity will be. Um, Let's say, um, depending on which way we're facing, we want it to go that direction. So uh, we'll do. Uh, well, let, let's just put a, a comma for now and put pass in B. Uh, I apologize. I'm getting picked up right now, so there will be a cut in the video for when I restart it when I get home.